Recently, I was looking into a new looter shooter. I wanted to play a new game that uh, that really I would love to go and, and shoot some enemies and, and equip myself with new gear and, and just be satisfying game uh, to loot and grind a little bit, right? And I found out that there is a newly released first Ascendant, that it's a Korean game that's newly released and uh, it should be like a clone of Warframe but different uh, that you will be able to unlock new characters and you will be able to shoot enemies and it will be supposedly fun. So I jump into it, I played several hours of the game and I just didn't feel it's, it's really right there. It, it's just missing so much, at least for me. Like the grind is there for sure. Uh, but while I, play, I was playing the game, I was thinking about the game that I played in the past quite a lot. and. The name is Outriders. So uh, I was playing it ton when it was originally released. That was like 2021 April. Um, before it was released, there was a demo, and I heard that there is this looter shooter coming up. And I was contacting <laughs> two of my friends, like, "Hey, we need to play this. It's a for free demo. We should try this. I think it should be. It could be fun." So we jump right into the game when the demo was released and we had a ton of fun. It was just, the shooting was great, the abilities felt snappy, but it was sure, right? It was just a demo, the first part of the game and uh, I was excited. I was excited to go and play the full game when it will be released on April. Uh, because this demo won like, oh, was like on February or something like that. So on April, uh, fast forward, right? I, I get the game for myself and my friend that play on, playing on the PlayStation get it as well and because of the was cross platform I was so excited that we can play together because I don't have a PlayStation and one, he da, don't have a PC uh, we jump right into that and we played quite really a lot we went through the whole story we grinded the end game and we had a ton of fun like there were issues right <laughs> with the game there was tons of issues but the hype around the game was tremendous there was like on the first day on when it was released like, there were like 125,000 concurrent players on the steam so it was just amazing right that the new kind of thing and I, I had a ton of fun but as I said there was bugs there was issues server issues that they people couldn't connect there was some some problems with the inventory missing so so people like looted stuff and, and the stuff from the inventory just disappeared so that's that's the worst thing that you can that can happen for someone who grinding and you will get the legendary but the legendary disappears from your inventory Hey, you hate your life at the moment. So so I understand why people were so upset, but it never happened to me. So maybe maybe for that reason I stick around, I don't know. But I really love the game for what it done right. And for at least for in my opinion, it's visual progression of your character just amazing the build like the the armor sets and the guns that you can hold like have on yourself are just looking great so so that was amazing one part and the second one will was the characters the, the possibilities of the class that you picked because they were like really really cool abilities and when you stuck them together uh, with the mods that you you found in the in the world that you, with, with progression of your character it could start it started to be really like crazy what, what with what you could do in in the battle so yeah there were like four classes there were technomancer and that was focusing on a long range uh, supported uh, throwing turrets or grenades and freezing enemies and, and uh, spread toxic around. So uh, there was a pyromancer so there was like medium range fire cast that would burn everything down uh, with his abilities or, or uh, like make enemies uh, like make them ash or something like that, like stun them and so on. There was a tricks that was like a close range roguelike uh, character that was jumping around and, and uh, really shooting people to the back and control the time so you can slow them down and, and so on so that was kind of cool and for me the best or at least what I play the most was the Devastator that was like the close range tank like guy made out of stone that is just causing earthquakes whatever and and spike everyone around with the stone spikes through their bodies it is just 
you just went in and just shooting with the shotgun and so on. It was just amazing. And as I said, with the with the mods that you can like s uh, stick to your armor and so on, you could like multiply what you're doing. So you don't didn't have one shockwave. You have, for example, three shockwaves that, that done so much more damage, reach more. So in the end, you were like really <laughs> shockwaving the whole battlefield. And it feels just so good. So, so that was really cool things about this game. There was a story. The story was, in my opinion, was not bad. Like, nowadays when I compare it to some newly released games that have really bad, like, voice acting and the story is non-existent. And then the developers are like, yeah, we are not even trying to go for it. <laughs> it's just, there is a story, but you can, like, we know that you're skipping it, so, so we don't even bother. This, I, in my opinion, was cool because you went through the story and the end game of, of it, the main release or the first release game, was really tied to the story. Why are you doing the end game and why are you farming the expeditions and in my opinion it gave me like no purpose but but it just makes sense and when when you have this under your like with the progression and when you are going at least at least for me it's just make me uh grind harder or at least i i have that it's not meaningless something like that so so story was fine and i'm still like kind of you know, I want to I want to know where where next it will go. But now based on that, I went to look for the game, right? I, I wanted to go back to the game. I wanted to play the game when I was playing the first Ascendant. And I was looking for what, what changed with the game. If there's a new patch, if there's a new update or something that I missed. And unfortunately, it feels that the, the game is abandoned, right? The game is no, no more patches, no more um, DLCs, nothing. And what I digged out on the internet, it feels that they are working on uh, a new Outriders. It's not said anything, but there were some leaks on the internet that they are working on something like codename Rat, and based on some some things, it seems that it could be a thing. And I feel it should be because the the IP they created, the the world they created, that that what is happening is so cool. Like it's grim, it's it's dark, it's not really like high fantasy, but everything is bad and going to be worse, and you need to save them, right? So I enjoyed the setting and everything. So I went back, I played quite a lot. It's just, it's still a great game. I remember when they released the original one, right? That was the end game. And after that, they will release the, the first DLC that they made. And the DLC returned uh, quite a lot because the, it was named New Horizon. And they reintroduced the end game because back then you had to go through the stages or uh, the expeditions and they were like time gated. So you need to do it under a set amount of time. When you done it you you got like gold medal and you got the best amount of gear you could right so you are you were trying to go all damage out because you needed to crush those time, crush those times so it was not that fun for for some classes in the new horizon they introduce like they they get rid of the timers they add more expeditions they added transmog so you could do whatever you want with the with the gear and there was no like pay to get it right no microtransaction you just get the gear and you could do whatever you want so that was kind of cool yeah that was that was the patch but the, the first major thing that happened for the game in the past was the first like big expansion, right? Uh, World Slayer that was supposed to have new story, new end game, and much more. And I was super hyped when I for first time uh, saw the the devlock. Uh, what they introduce because they it, they talk about a dungeon that you will be able to like go for for the loot that you are looking for and it will be and I in my head it was like oh my god this is amazing like roguelike mode ever changing dungeon that you will be able to target loot and it will be like bosses and you will go through this and you will farm there will be new tier apocalypse tier that will give you even more mods for your character so it, the abilities will be even more powerful so 
everything seemed absolutely amazing, right? That the the word slayer will change the course, like the course of the game, and people will flock back to the game. But that will, well, that's not what happened, <laughs> because the story was like two hours long. So for those people who come back for the story, they were pissed because the story was so short. The end game was great. For the first, second, third, maybe 10, maybe 50 times you went through. Because it ne never changed. It was always, it's static end game. You are going through the same dungeon all over again. And always. Also, the amount of grind that you need to do is just tremendous to get everything you need. So, so there are th issues with the game, but still. When you're playing the game, like time to time combat and slashing those enemies is just great. There is a big variety of the enemies. It could be um, always better, right? But it's 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 nice. So I feel that there is a lot of strong points to the game and to the IP. And I hope that the developers working on Outriders 2 and they are working on those issues that were the pinpoints of like, you know, the people quit. For example, the stability of the servers, the matchmaking of, of the people and the end game. Like, how to do it better, how to do it, like, for people to really grind and be rewarded and, and it'll be ever-changing and, you know, some of the things that, that people complained and it will never, uh, was never solved. So I would love to see them uh, iterate on that, but hopefully they will not, like, abandon this IP at all because I feel it's got really big potential and with new release I feel it could be could be much much bigger game that it's uh, that it's now so yeah I'm going back to to the game I will be playing uh, a little bit more because as I said I am really enjoying it but you know it's not for another hundred or two hundred hours to grind this game that's I think not there but Still, if you want to check out the game for yourself, I, I recommend it. You will get it sometimes on, on the sale, something like that, and I feel it's worth it. It's just, for the amount of money on the sale, for example, you will get a ton of fun, and uh, you will get the fantasy, the shooting around, and looting enemies, and just getting the gear, and I feel it, even the story is kind of cool. So yeah, that's it, that's everything from me. Hope you enjoy, and yeah, if you want to check out more content, uh, you can uh, click on the videos above. Or you can hit the subscribe and you will not miss any new videos. That's it. Thank you so much. And by the way, uh, one more thing that I want to mention. Uh, let me know if you played Outriders or you have never heard about this game ever. And this is all for the first time like, Outriders, what the hell is that? I would be so interested to see that. So you can leave the comment if you like. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Peace.